Grass Valley is the world's leading manufacturer of television production and broadcasting equipment, offering solutions to some of the most innovative media organizations. Well, Neil Maycock is the VP of Global Marketing. He's here to tell us more. You've been through a major acquisition this year in February, and you came over from Sam, so I imagine it's been pretty busy since that time. It's, uh, yeah, been pretty full on and uh, quite a year. So. As you said, the acquisition was in February, and shortly after that we had NAB, which was our first public outing. And really, at that time, our message to the market was around stability, continuity of supply for our customers, and, and reassuring the market that everything wasn't going to fall apart. But here at IBC, this is, uh, I would say, the first time. Our, our public outing is a properly joined up business, and we've done a lot in the intervening period to realise the benefits of the companies coming together. And changing consumer habits are really driving change as well. I mean, what are the challenges that you're facing? Well, that's part of what's so interesting about this market is continuously changing. So um, we've done a, a lot of research in terms of analysing the market, understanding where we invest our R&D dollars. So we, uh, you know, Obviously, the rise of the OTT services, the Netflix, the Amazons of the world is significant. Um, but, you know, from the research we've determined, uh, still in three years' time, 80% of advertising revenue is, is going to be coming from traditional linear services. So traditional TV is far from dead, so we're investing heavily there. But also the growth is significantly higher in these, is, in these new entrants to support these new consumer habits. So we're also looking at how we diversify the Grass Valley business into these new areas. Because Grass Valley shows leadership in the areas of live news, play out and networking. What are some important updates across the, these streams? Well, again, so good news is no matter how content is consumed, it needs to be produced. So that we have a big focus on live. And if you have a look at uh, uh, the Grass Valley booth here at the show, uh, we have a whole live production stage showing uh, uh, whole ranges of equipment and how it's used in real life. And to, to really bring that alive at uh, IBC, we've chosen to have an eSports competition on the booth. So we have professional gamers playing a game that I don't understand. So we also have a professional commentator translate from that demographic to my demographic my of what, what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, eSports, a great example of a new, uh, whole new consumption trend. Um, whilst it loosely fits into our live portfolio, there are lots of nuances that are very different in esports. So the reason we brought it to the show, a lot of people are talking about it, not many people have experienced it firsthand. You know, somebody in this industry told me for their target demographic, the average attention span is eight seconds. So that is quite different to a traditional soccer match or a football match. So, um, yeah. W working out how we leverage our history, our experience from traditional broadcast to help the traditional broadcast, but also in these new areas is, is really interesting, exciting, and hopefully, yes, yeah, some good stuff to see here at the show. Because with that, with IP virtualization, how's that changing the media landscape? Well, for me, there's a danger, particularly at a show like IBC, that we think of technology first, and, and really, they're just tools in a toolkit for us. So it, our focus is on the, our customers' end application and their business requirements. And if being able to take your operation out of expensive real estate in the city centre and put it into a data centre in the cloud, whatever, if, if that saves you significant uh, uh, costs in your business, then great. And let's use IP and virtualization to enable that for our customers. So we, we're really looking, uh, we engage with our key accounts and trying to understand their business and then make sure that we have the right uh, technology portfolio behind that to enable that. And one of the things behind that we've announced uh, at the show, which is one of the benefits of the scale of Grass Valley, is we've carved out a whole section of our R&D to develop a core set of technologies uh, which can be used across our portfolio. So we can get best of breed functionality, performance, uh, cost benefits, in, develop it once and use it many, really leverage the benefits of cloud and stuff. And so that, that's actually going to be branded on our products now. I, I've told our guys it's a bit like Intel inside, but the 
GV Cortec is uh, yeah, a significant thing for us. So big question then, what does the future hold? I mean, I know you've been through a lot over the last few months, but I imagine there's lots ahead. Absolutely. So, you know, Grass Valley, Belden, our parent company, very heavily vested into the sector. As I said, we've done a lot of uh, research to understand the markets, understand the trends and where we're going to invest. We see a lot of opportunity in what I would call our traditional spaces. So, as you said, live news play out all looking healthy markets and we, we're, we're forecasting growth in all of those areas. Uh, and then I think it's watch this space for what we're going to do in the uh, adjacent spaces and online. We will watch this space and thanks for all of your involvement as well in making IBC TV happen as well. Very glad to be part of it. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you.